Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you subbed and stayed. Um, this is a quick video that I'm going to do, very old one, but I just wanted to say for those of you that keep up with the videos as I do them, for anybody new listening to this you probably won't know what the hell I'm going on about but if you look back on the last video before this one it'll make sense. Anywho. I was going on about she graduated from the sticking and gluing table to the threading beads table and one of you lovely ladies said you should make a t-shirt that says I graduated from the sticking and gluing table and it tickled me it really did and it was like I could see it in my mind's eye so I've just asked madam I said could you design me a t-shirt that said I just graduate and she was like oh she's not going to teach nursery is she <laughs> it's like no it's a long story I'll explain later but yeah I'll show you when she does something but I thought that was too funny anyway this is from the 28th of August 2013 somebody suggested I do it because I think Ben and Ethan had just been at her holiday home with her and it had carry on from her and the Tinkerbells thing anyway Shall we jump in? Hi everyone, it's me, Lori. I'm just going to put on some lip gloss. This or else shock. I lick my lips too much. Someone once told me that. And it stuck with me, so thank you. Thank you very much for that. I'm going to start off this video by saying... Thank you, thank you very much for that. Now, was that a sarcastic thank you? Or was that, a, I'm trying to be nice, thank you, because I'm trying to build my channel. Because we all know now it'd have been, fuck off. I can do whatever I want. Moo, 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 moo. It's a collective haul for my uh, vacationing for the week in New Hampshire. The lighting sucks. The camera sucks. My editing's going to suck. And my nails suck. And I'm going to... Be very straightforward and show you guys now. So all of you that keep thumbs downing me, keep keep going, keep going. I think it's actually pretty funny, and I know, I know basically the three people that keep doing it. So if it makes you feel better, I give you. So, oh, she's gonna say I give you permission, is she? I was just gonna say how many thumbs down did she get? Twenty nine. And 28 of them weren't me. So, the three people. So, this is when? 2013. She's still pissing people off right at the very fucking beginning. Just shows. Nothing changes. Is she going to say I'll give you permission? Permission. <laughs> Here are my nails. Um, these are French tip. The kind that you glue on. They did look good. And they were just the French, but now they look like this. And so I'm showing you because you're going to see me showing you the things that I bought. And I just want you to know that I am completely aware of how awful my nails look. But what I'm wearing on them, which would look good if I had done a good job and, like, gave a shit, is the Maybelline Color Show. This one is in the color Fuchsia Fever. And... This is the second bottle I've gotten of this type of nail polish, and I have to say I'm really, really not impressed with it. It is so watery, and it's mostly because I tip it upside down, and I show you right there. You can see right there lots of the color, and I cannot, I think I'm going to have to stick a toothpick or something in there, cannot get it to mix no matter how much I, I try. So anyways, I have two coats of that on, and then one. It's obviously a jelly polish and it's supposed to be watery, as you say, so that you can see through it and layer things. I'm not sure about the pigment at the bottom. You should be able to shake that up, but anywho. Is it just me? Or are them curtains fugly? Why did... So, let me get this straight. Her father left her the timeshare in his will. Did that mean he owned it? Like he'd 
like he'd bought a house type thing so he owned it for so many weeks of the year because what i thought about timeshares was did you do you actually buy them anyway one minute she had a timeshare the next minute she didn't so did she not keep up the payments on it or did she sell it or what does anybody know because i wasn't watching her back then so these type of things i don't know much about i sort of bobbed in occasionally when lisa mentioned her or whatever and i was like yeah no i don't like you <laughs> one coat of this this is by hard candy and it's called fireworks and it's a really gorgeous um glitter polish it's red with look at those blue and so you've got a full glitter polish and you've only managed to get two dots on one finger and a few on the other that's a bit shit i think it'll look really pretty over that color once i like really do it camera actually focuses really well so I'm melting off these nails tonight but I wanted to show you that and I just wanted to kind of be up front with you guys and um, tell you you know I'm aware of everything so I know my nails look like crap and I know the video is not that good but I really 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 have a great story to tell you and I wanted to show you some stuff so I'm doing this for you um, even then I'm doing this for you. Really? Really? I'm also losing my internet connection, so I'm going to have to, like, put all this together, and I might repeat myself, or I might get caught off mid-video, and I apologize for that as well. So just please bear with me. And I'm having so much trouble uploading all these videos. They are just not going through and mid-sentence the video stops and sometimes it goes through and sometimes it doesn't. So just bear with me if I get cut off and then start. Oh, just get fucking on with it. Good God. I remember somebody said to me once back in the day, I used to get glossy box and I did a glossy box unboxing and somebody put someone put a comment and went, thank fuck someone who just says what's in the box <laughs> i'm like that it's like when i i love watching um collection videos and uh declutter videos and that type of thing and then they spend three days explaining whether we know what you're going to do we know there's assholes on the internet will say you've got too much fucking makeup we know just get on with the there was one video I actually fast forwarded 10 minutes of this woman going on about how she was going to show us what she was going to show us and then what she was going to do with it. And it's like, just show us for fuck's sake. Stop telling us what you're going to show. <sighs> Another video, it's not, they're not going to be as perfect <laughs> as my videos that I do with my video camera, which aren't perfect. That was a joke. I'm um, just going to keep doing this and see what happens so forgive everything oh Forg just get fucking on with it woman forgive me bad quality you know how i am about that hate the quality of this camera on burke's computer my nails look like crap i'm not wearing any makeup but you know what i really want to show you guys this stuff so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna pursue and push forward because that is how much i love you that i am trying to make this video for you guys. So I am in New Hampshire at my timeshare. Um, somebody had asked uh, if I moved. <laughs> yeah, I moved and those are the curtains that I picked out. Um, yeah, so I'm at my timeshare with Burke and his friend Otman. Otman is leaving tomorrow and Burke and I are here till Friday and I've done quite a bit of shopping. Um, Nothing has been. I bet the boys really enjoyed that. Where were they when you were traipsing around the shops? Did you drag them around with you or were they left to their own devices? Because you're such a good mother, aren't you? You'd leave them in a place they don't know well. On their own. Could get abducted. Anything could happen. Yeah. It's been really expensive, but everything's been kind of unusual that I can't really get back home, so or I haven't seen anything like that back home, so I wanted to show you everything that I've gotten. Um, the first thing, which is... Right. 
4 minutes 38 seconds and she's finally showing us the first thing. Really simple are these bits of incense, twigs. Some, incense. <laughs> some of them smell really good. I love lilac. I don't even know what each one is anymore, but I, I, and they were like 10 for a dollar. And then I bought this little holder for them. It was a dollar 99, but this is what the whole holder looks like. So you just we know. take one of these, stick it in. Hands up, who doesn't know what to do with a fucking stick of incense, really? This is nearly as good as Lisa's fucking how to boil an egg video. We learn so much from these ladies, don't we? How would we ever have coped? And light it. So that's just a little, little something, right? So the other day when Ben and Ethan were here, we all went up to a town called Littleton. And it's a really cute town. They have the largest candy counter called Shutters, and they have. So she was there with Ben and Ethan and Burke and Atman. I wonder, did Atman's parents know? Um, some little boutiques, and there's this one boot. I'll call it a boutique. It's like a store. It's in the woman's house, so she has this big Victorian, and um, like her front porch is filled with nice like, swings and sofas and plants and rugs and stuff. And you go in, and there's tons of really cute cards and soaps and candles. And then she has all this jewelry that is like displayed in these antique dressers. And inside the dresser drawers, you pull open the dresser drawer, and there's like hundreds of rings all lined up and she has a few regular I want I don't know if they're local designers but they're like kind of off the cuff designers like one particular guy last year I bought a fork ring um, she had some really nice like silverware jewelry but I didn't get any of that and then she has this other designer that she works with and I don't remember her name but when I um, when I figure it out, I will put it in the description box below, and I'm sure that you can look her up. Anyways, one of the things I bought there today, uh, the other day. Finally. This was a thing back in the day. If you're new to YouTube, back in the day when us old folks decided we were going to get on here and, and show you stuff, it took us a fortnight <laughs> to explain what it was and why we bought it and what it looked like, apart from me. I was like, here's this, here's that, here's the other, goodbye. <laughs> I don't get it. It's like, was she nervous? I think she was probably nervous, even though she wouldn't admit it. This year was by, um, it's perfume, and it's called Tokyo Milk Number no. 06 Dead Sexy, and it's Deep Vanilla Exotic Wood White Orchid and Ebony. And that is what it looks like. And it's a spray. No shit. Smells amazing, and honestly, it does. It smells dead sexy. So last year when I was there, did I say the name? It's called Palm Meadows. Um, I think. Anyways, last year when I was there, this woman has such a great style about her. She's like a little bit older than me, and so I copied her. <laughs> uh, her heritage is Greek. Um, I'm just trying to paint a picture for you of her. She just had this great style. Have you, do you know people like that? Um, I think if I sit back, I look a little less washed out. Sorry. Um, yeah, so she had on these cuff bracelets, like several of them, and I really wanted to buy one last year, but I, they didn't fit me. They didn't look good on me. I, um, I was, you know, really heavy and about to get my surgery in like a month and a half or something and knew my life was going to be changing and I knew, oh, next year when I go back to the timeshare, I'm going to be thin. Um, I mean, I'm not thin, but I'm very normal looking. That's what my mother would say. So for all of you that are overweight, it's not that you're not normal, but within a normal or average, average size range. 
But anyways, I feel really good this year. Um, so I went back there, and she remembered me, and I couldn't believe it because I was like, you know, 86 pounds heavier, had black hair, probably pulled back in that stupid little... Oh, Laurie. Once met, never forgotten, and not for the right reasons either. Of course she fucking remembered you. <laughs> you could have had a bag over your head. She'd have remembered you, no doubt. Little poof. But she did remember me, and she remembered Burke. Um, thought he had grown a lot. And I did pick up two things from her store. The first is this bracelet. It's hard to see where the camera is here. It's right in front of me. It's right there. <laughs> Anyways, I forget what stone that is. And I don't, I'm not sure what stone that is. But it's, this is just like a base metal brass. And I just loved it. It's a cuff. And I do layer it. Um, because that's what you've seen her doing. If this is prior to Hitchcock Madrona, she's copied that woman. If this was after Hitchcock Madrona, she's copying them and their arm parties. With other pieces that I'll show you. And also my camera, it's backwards, like this is my left hand. I know that you can tell, but I forget it. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I'm getting off track. So that's the bracelet that I got. And then I got this ring. And this is like an antique button. With some kind of glass stone. And then... open the back and it looks like this on. <laughs> Bet Steven Spielberg is chomping at the bit to offer this one a job filming. So I love that and I'm gonna just stop this because I think the rats might be fighting. <laughs> They've been fighting a little bit. If anyone knows anything about two girls, two girl rats fighting and how to stop that, I've just been banging on the top of the cage, you know, like not banging, but... Yeah, but not banging. I bet you were. I bet you were like, stop it! Stop! Stop! Stop it! Yeah. I hit a wire and everything went quiet. <laughs> Who brings rats on holiday? Could she not have got a neighbour to feed them for her? I can't believe she actually brought the rats to the timeshare. Tapping on it and it stops them. So I hope they get along. I, I thought that they would. That's what they told me at the pet store. They weren't in the same cage because one is a little bigger than the other. But I'm going to go check. Another bracelet that I got is this. And I could easily make this at oh, home, could. but honestly, I don't know that I could make it for seven dollars, which is how much it cost. And it really is just on a stretchy cord, and it's these beads. And I loved the color of these beads. I love this color combination with the brown and the blue, with the cream and the green, and then it's got this big wooden like piece there. And so I wear it um, here. And then that cuff bracelet. On your wrist? Really? You wear a bracelet on your wrist? Mind blown. I'd never have thought of that. I think you might just be edging Lisa in her boiled egg video. Just might be, slightly. Nice. I loved how that looked together. I'm laughing because I remember doing that. <laughs> it's like, show it. No, that's no. I'm back to front. Where's the camera? Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, how things have progressed from them days. That's right. Um, and then I got, I don't know if I should show you, but 
but this this little like ankle bracelet it's just a stupid little um I'm lifting up my whole leg here rope with like some beads here I got that for a dollar um anything else at that place no but I did get this at a little beach shop do you remember these puka beads yeah like David Cassidy or Sean Cassidy used to wear them um but I'm not going to hook it now because I am going to go swimming. But it's just like, I just liked the white necklace like that. And they're really smooth and they feel, they feel nice. I haven't been able to wear anything because of my shingles there. But they're getting so much better. So I... <laughs> so this is when the shingles started, did it? She's on holiday with shingles, folks. Of course you fucking are. You're such a warrior, aren't you, Lardy? What does she do? Does she just keep saying it and anyone who disagrees, she deletes them? And in the end, the people left behind are just like, oh, okay, you've got shingles then. Why does no one... Well, they do, I suppose, because I stood up to her and I disappeared, didn't I? So, shingles my hole. I got that. That was like a dollar. And then I got this little bracelet. Um... One of the Italian girls that I had met in the Dominican had on two of these. They were flowers, and I just thought they were so cute. She had them, like, loaded up with bracelets that she was wearing. And this is, they're like little sewn or crocheted type bracelets. And this one is skulls, as you can see. They're upside down here. Let's see if I can show you. There we go. And you just, like, hook it like that. And I've got on this. Which they I look just... like things to me. That's really descriptive, Julie. Go on. What what are things? Oh, for the love of God. Remember, um, oh, ain't my head. Space invaders. You know the little things, the aliens going across. Meh, 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 meh. They look like them to me. I would have bought that thinking it looked like space invaders. I love this bracelet. Oh, my God. I got that a while ago, and my Tiffany, my Tiffany heart bracelet, so have that. That is what's on this hand. Now you've seen all the jewelry, and let's get to... So this is the first article of clothing that I got. It's a knitted sweater in like a dark slate blue, and I've seen these before, and this one was really inexpensive. It was $19, and she gave me 25% off because I bought another sweater from her as well. So I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, it's short in the back, as you can see. It's like kind of like a shrug, very loose in the arm here. And then what you do She's going to show us how to tie a knot now. You just tie it like that and wear it with, obviously, not this... Um, not, I'm wearing, here I'll show you. Clothes. I'm wearing my shorts and this like burnout shirt, but I would wear it with a black tank and you know how I want to cover my arms and you just do something like that and I thought it was really cute. I'm that sick and at that age now I'm looking at that thinking that would make a really cute bed jacket. <laughs> what? What happened to my life? This is the other sweater that I got and it came in black with the gold through it, pink with gold through it. I can't remember what other colors. A couple, but I got the gold or the tan. It's tan with gold through it. I don't know if you can see. And this is also to be worn like with a tank. Um, like a black tank. But actually, they, the women at the store, liked how it looked on me over this purple shirt. And it kind of like, if you want like a little bit of a bohemian type look where you're layering stuff, let me show you if you can see. I'm wearing shorts.
But um, so the back, I don't know if the back is higher. The See there, higher. look, she had a normal bum. Totally normal bum. Now it's the weirdest shape I have ever seen. Is there any way she can mould it now to look like a proper bum? Get rid of that shelf bit. Or is that it now? Is she doomed to have that forever? The way I'm wearing it. But I do like it when, when like tops stick out like that and like that. And I thought this was, I just thought this is such a great layering piece, you know? So I totally grabbed that. And the last amazing item is a bag that I got at this place called something trading post where they have like all Harley Davidson things and I was gonna I was not gonna get it but I was looking at leather vests and I liked these like short kind of tight with a zipper low cut leather vest to wear over like a white t-shirt and jeans but Burke and his friend thought I would look like a biker chick and that I and Burke felt that I would attract biker men that's not yeah back then maybe whatever happened to you saying I'm gonna wear whatever the fuck I want I don't care anymore when do you ever listen to anything Burke says the reason I didn't get it I just wanted to give you a little bit of a laugh of what I go through with two 14 year old boys so I didn't get a vest because I didn't feel like spending $100, but I did get this bag, which was more than $100, but it's spectacularly gorgeous. It is the most gorgeous leather. This is the strap. It can be worn crossbody or like a shoulder bag, and it stays on my shoulder. It looks like this. <clears throat> you know the video quality is so bad, like <clears throat> my voice is not synced up, but... I'll show you when I get home. So that's the back of the bag. This is one of the sides. It has this nice big like pocket here. The other side has a zipper that you can like put things in here. And then um, this is the front. So the front also has this big pocket here and a zipper that goes this way. So it goes like from front to back. And then the bag opens up like that. I wonder whatever happened to that bag. I quite like the look of that. Really easy to access everything. Softest leather. Oh, we know what happened to that bag, don't we? She got bored with it. And because it was proper leather, she got a good price for it, selling it off somewhere, and then got something else she was obsessed with for 15 minutes. If you could smell it right now, you would die. It smells like... Smells like just oh, incredible leather. I love the hardware too. It's um, it's a shiny gold. Kind of cool. Um, and then it, inside is just a big, a big hole, but it has a, like a pocket on the side here and a slip pocket on the side here, like that. And I will show you how it looks when it is. Oh, I want to put it over my shoulder when it's on me. Sorry for my adjusting. Isn't that unusual? Have you ever seen anything like that? And if this camera will stay going, I'll show you how it is as a crossbody. Quickly, work quickly. Okay. Cute, right? I keep thinking this is the front. There's this little, but this is the back. The front has. The front has this pocket so you can like put your cell phone there or I can put my cell phone in the side here or even probably I would put it in this deep pocket here but I just 
thought this was a fabulous bag and just so, so different. And, the and it was over a hundred dollars. Was she working then? I don't think so. The last thing I want to talk to you about was an experience that I had. Um, I went when we were in Littleton to this store and it's called Just L. That is their business card, Just L. Modern antiques and intriguing items. It's very apropos that it's called Just L because... Mm -hmm. Of course it is. Well, because my first name begins with an L and my last name begins with an L. And I am just me, really. Um, anyone who's watched my channel... Oh, here we go. <sighs> Why is it apropos that they called it Just L when they didn't fucking know you, had no intentions of naming a shop after you? You just claim anything with an L on as yours. Oh, L knows that I'm really real. Like, what you see is what you get. And I'm like that in my life, too. I sort of wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm very open and honest. And I'm basically, if anyone were to describe me, or if I'm going to describe myself, I would... Oh, if anyone was to describe you, what would they say? Describe Laurie in one word. You know what's coming, guys, don't you? Cunt. There we go. Say I'm just L, just Laurie. Anyway, oh, I walked into the place thinking it was like an antique store. And it's a modern antique store. And modern meaning from mid-century, so the 50s, around the 50s, 50, 60s, 70s. First thing I saw when I walked in was the table and chairs that I grew up with in New York when I was like from two until well actually we brought it to Boston. So my table and chairs for my kitchen. And um It wasn't your table and chairs though, was it? Why did she never say my mother's tables and chairs? It'd be like me saying, Oh, I remember that city when I was three, my city. No, it wasn't my city, it was my mother's. Actually, my aunt bought it, so it's hers, really. There's no, there's not a way that I can upload. I'll show you. When I get home, I'm going to, I'll do another video and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Anyways. So it like struck me. It was my table and chairs from the kitchen that I grew up in. I'm like, oh my God. So it like, I was like, I suddenly like remembered when I was little. And then as I started to walk around the store, I started to see like the dishes that we had and like a chair that looked like something that had been in my grandmother's house and um, two different lamps that were very similar to what I grew up with. And I started getting like really emotional about it. And um and then I saw um what else did they have there? Um <coughs> <coughs> sorry, um the dishes, the chair, um, you know, like record albums, um, board games. It was like, I was like going back to my childhood. Then I saw, they had a bookshelf full of books and they had the Bobsy Twin, the whole Bobsy Twin um, series. And I suddenly was like in my basement at my house in Boston, seven years old, reading those books. Did they used to lock you in the basement when you were little? That's why you like Honey Bee. You and Honey Bee have got something in common because she spends all her time now in a basement. Sorry, I'm looking for a drink. With the worms. And you grew up in a basement with the Bobsy twins. Oh. It's like, oh my God, I turned to them and I said, oh my God, like Ben. And I had tears in my eyes. And I said, I had these. These were my books when I was growing up. And then... 
this painting that had been in my living room, my den, my den, not my living room, the den that I grew up with. And I completely lost it. I mean, I wasn't like... Do you see how everything's my, my, mine? Nothing was mine until I moved out of home and bought my own stuff. Then it was mine. If I was looking back at my childhood, it'd be, oh my God, they had the chair my gran had, or they had the book my mum had. Or, do you know what I mean? It's, it's all hers. Everything is hers. She's fucked up in the head, that woman, totally. Like screaming, but I, they had to give me a tissue. And Burke came over and he's like, Dad, I need help. Because it was the most overwhelming emotional experience I have ever had. And then things started to flood back, like my grandparents, who I, you know, they were like the best grandparents I ever had. I had such an amazing childhood. And, um, you know, they're gone. And my grandfather was like a father to me. And, and then I thought about my father, who passed away two years ago. And, um... Like you gave a fuck about your father who passed away two years ago. You don't care about him at all. And did you notice she said she had the most wonderful childhood? Can we just stick a pin in that and remember it when she starts going on about the terrible childhood she had? And who breaks down in a shop and cries like a baby when they're in charge of a child? Really? She doesn't care, it's all about her, her and her needs. Everyone running over, checking if she's okay. I bet she didn't give a fuck about how she upset Burke. How like life is just so short. My mother's getting older and I'm getting older. I don't want to get emotional now, just even thinking about it. But, and I was just crying and the guy was like, hey, do you want some tissues? And I said, am I like the only person that does this? And he said, absolutely. Yes, no, he said <laughs> absolutely not. And I was like drained the rest of the day from really, not just emotionally crying, but I literally went back to my childhood. I went back and... That's what she does, if you didn't know. Like, when she kept going on about the building that collapsed in I'm sorry I can't remember was it Miami anyway she sits there and she thinks how would I feel if that building collapsed on me and then makes herself upset and then cries and she thinks that's empathy uh-huh it's hard to do that I've never done that before one thing I wanted to show you that the guy gave me before I started crying, so he wasn't, um, he wasn't, he wasn't feeling sorry for me, but I was talking to him, I don't know, I'm reminiscing about things that I remember, and anybody who's my age, like, you remember a lot of things, like, do you remember Spirograph with the real pins that you had to stick in, like, pins for seven-year-olds, Spirograph that you stuck in and made pins for seven-year-olds. Yeah, well, we all know you were a fuckwit at seven because you cut your doll's hair thinking it'd grow back. Most seven-year-olds... Well, I don't... Seven. What was I doing when I was seven? I was doing the shopping. I was washing and ironing my own clothes. Um, I'd been changing my bed since I was two, so that was nothing. I think I knew what a real pin was and I could play with Spirograph without sticking it in my eyes or anybody else's or the dolls or the babies. Do you remember when she says, I won't stick pins in the doll's eyes. I won't stick pins in the baby's eyes. That's probably what she did with her Spirograph pins. Oh, I love Spirograph or um, color forms. Um, anyways, do you remember? cameras that had this kind of flash. Yep. This was like the modern amazing thing. You bought a pack of four 
and each one has totally. four flashes and you stuck it into the camera and then when you would take the picture like if it wasn't in it didn't flash obviously but when you would take the picture it would turn to the next one and and blow out the other flash and then you'd be like oh I have one flash left and he gave this to me and um, I don't know why you know I was thinking about these like well before I even went in there of course you were. so I can't remember other things that when it was just the most amazing place it made me feel like even though I was crying I was like happy it was like memories I mean a little bit sad because my grandparents aren't here and they never will be and that is a time gone by I will never be seven years old again and have that life and they are memories yes and you know I have new memories to make and I have a great life with my my baby and um but it's still I don't know I got really melancholy and even just thinking about it makes me want to cry I'm so emotional these days Whew. anyways I just want to share that story with you and this place. I will put the information down below or you can just go back to the video part that and pause that if you're at all interested. Go back and pause that. You could have just held it up while you were saying that. This kind of stuff. And, um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and things that I got. And um, I love hearing from all of you. I'm trying to answer. Um, but I love reading all the comments, so keep them coming, because I am stuck with two 14-year-old boys. Do you understand? Stop! Help! I really hate that this playlist just whizzes on to the next one. I've looked everywhere, people. I don't know how you stop it. It, anyway, if you made it to the end of that with me, thank you very much. I'm going to have some dinner and I will be back in a bit. I think I might do, not that I stood him up one, where's the other one? Oops. There's a, a three hour live that I have been putting off and putting off and putting off live on patreon only so i thought i might do that one we'll see anyway thanks for staying with me if you did and i'll catch you in the next one bye <laughs>